Hello, it's Peter Newman here. This week in RE Insight, we're talking about a new glyphosate resistance mechanism. It is metabolic resistance, and it started in the ore irrigation area uh, in the north of Australia. And with me is Andrew Cripps, who is the person who actually found the barnyard grass that was resistant to glyphosate. So Andrew, can you just tell us a little bit about what situation you found it in and how that resistance actually occurred? Uh, yeah, thanks, Peter. Um, it was uh, a farmer came to me when I was an uh, agronomist up in the Ord and, and said simply that, that the Roundup wasn't working anymore and, um, and you know, he'd increased his rates um, to a couple of times what was previously used and, and it still wasn't doing a great job. So yeah, that's when I contacted uh, Steve Powells from Ari and, and, uh, and we, got, we, start, we got the population sampled and, um, yeah, and then it all went from there. And that farmer was applying the glyphosate by air, I understand. It was in the wet season, wasn't it? Yeah, so they have a wet season fallow, um, probably similar to our summer fallow, except it's you know it's constantly raining, it's um, very wet up there, and, and yeah, the only way to get the, the chemical on is, is to be flown on uh, with a plane, so. And they would spray it four or five or six times over a wet season? Yeah, yeah, generally, depending on the season. Um, you know, the, obviously the wetter, the more, more germinations you get. Um, and yeah, because the, the wet season can be, can be um, you know, quite different from year to year. So that's not particularly interesting that we've found another glyphosate resistant weed. We've had glyphosate resistance before, but we've found it in Ornless Barnyard grass this time. What is interesting is that it's metabolic resistance. So what happened was Todd Gaines from Ari at the time went up there, sampled it, came back and tested it, confirmed resistance. They noticed that it was responding to temperature. So in cooler temperatures, uh, they would get uh, only 70% survival to the herbicide at warmer temperatures they would get 100% survival to the herbicide glyphosate. That led them to believe it could be metabolic resistance. Uh, further research then by Lang Pan, who was a, a Chinese student under the watchful eye of Yuxin in Ari, uh, went on to study it in more detail and confirmed that it is the aldo keto reductase enzyme that is at play. So this enzyme is overexpressed, the plant just produces a lot of it. Uh, and then it essentially can just break the glyphosate molecule in half. And that's the nature of this metabolic resistance. So for more information, check out RE Insight.